March 2028. That's the date OpenAI just gave us for true automated AI research, not speculation, not sometime in the future, a specific month and year. And here's what most people completely missed. When we hit automated AI research, the acceleration of AI becomes limited only by how much compute we can throw at it. That's when we enter what experts call the intelligence explosion, the point where AI improves itself faster than humans can track. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai labs. What I'm about to show you isn't just another tech update. This is OpenAI laying out the exact roadmap to artificial general intelligence and revealing why every major AI lab is in an arms race that only one company can win. Let me break down what OpenAI just revealed in their recent live stream with Sam Altman and Jacob Pachaki. Here's their timeline, and I want you to see how insanely specific this is. October 2025. We are here right now, September 2026. Automated AI research intern, not a chatbot. A legitimate AI researcher that can facilitate and accelerate AI research. March 2028. Full automated AI research. Self-improving artificial intelligence. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I've talked about the intelligence explosion before. This timeline almost perfectly matches the predictions from the situational awareness paper that sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. But here's what makes this different. OpenAI isn't speculating. They're planning. They're building toward this with trillion dollar infrastructure investments. And when I say trillion dollar, I mean it literally. OpenAI's current infrastructure plan includes 30 plus gigawatts currently being built. That's $1.4 trillion worth of compute infrastructure. Remember when people laughed at Sam Altman's $7 trillion Stargate plan? He's already 20% of the way there. Think about what this means. Whoever reaches self-improving AI first doesn't just win. Everyone else becomes irrelevant because once you hit recursive self-improvement, how does anyone else catch up? This is why Mark Zuckerberg is willing to misallocate hundreds of billions of dollars on AI infrastructure. The downside of missing this boat is far greater than any amount of money spent trying to catch it. But there's another dimension to this timeline that OpenAI keeps talking about. And it's not just about when AGI arrives, it's about task duration. Right now, AI can handle tasks that take five seconds, five minutes, even five hours. But here's the progression they outlined. Today, five seconds to five hours. Near future, five days. Coming soon, five weeks. Next phase, five months. Ultimate goal, five-year autonomous tasks. Now, most people hear this and think it's just about duration, but that's not the full picture. It's about what AI can accomplish within that duration. It's about efficiency, token usage, compute optimization during extended operations. Because here's the thing, once models can run autonomously for extended periods, the only limiter preventing us from ramping up AI performance is compute. That's it, just sand and electricity. And this doesn't only apply to AI research, improving AI. Imagine autonomous AI researchers running biomedical research, material science, drug discovery, climate modeling, operating 24 seven without breaks, without bias, without ego. The compound effects are staggering. Now here's something fascinating that OpenAI revealed, something I hadn't heard them discuss publicly before, chain of thought faithfulness. Yaka Pachaki explained their approach to AI alignment, and it's both brilliant and slightly unsettling. Here's the concept. 
OpenAI is deliberately not supervising parts of the model's internal reasoning during training. They're letting the AI think freely without human intervention. Then examining those thoughts afterward. Why? Because they want to see what the AI actually thinks, not what it thinks humans want to hear. Jakob said, we refrain from guiding the model to think good thoughts and let it remain a bit more faithful to what it actually thinks. Now, this is where it gets interesting. He's essentially saying that by giving models privacy, by not constantly monitoring and correcting their reasoning, we actually gain more insight into how they truly think. It's almost like treating these models as autonomous entities that need psychological safety to reveal their genuine thought processes. Does that rub you the wrong way? It should make you pause. But here's why they're doing it. As we move toward highly capable, long-running AI systems, we need to understand their actual reasoning, not their performance for human evaluators. OpenAI designed this into their products. That's why ChatGPT shows you chain of thought summaries rather than the full reasoning. They're maintaining what Jakob calls controlled privacy for the models. The fragility of this approach is that it requires extreme restraint. One slip, one moment where they fully expose and supervise the chain of thought and the entire system of faithfulness collapses. Let's talk about what's actually required to reach these AGI milestones. OpenAI isn't just building data centers, they're building factories to build data centers. And those factories will eventually produce a gigawatt of compute capacity per week. Let me put that in perspective. A gigawatt per week means OpenAI is essentially building a new nuclear power plant's worth of compute capacity every seven days. And Sam Altman revealed something else in the live stream that most people glossed over. They're repurposing their thoughts on robotics, not to make consumer robots, but to help build the data centers themselves. AI, building the infrastructure for better AI, another recursive loop. But here's what's most telling about OpenAI's restructure. They've finalized everything. The drama with the nonprofit versus for-profit, the Microsoft partnership, the ownership structure, it's all locked in. The OpenAI Foundation owns 26% of the public benefit corporation with warrants for potentially more equity. And Sam Altman committed $25 billion from the foundation to two critical areas, health and disease research and AI resilience. Why does this matter? Because it signals that OpenAI is preparing for the public benefit corporation to go full commercial, likely an IPO, while maintaining mission alignment through the nonprofit's governance. They're building the corporate structure for a post-AGI world. During the Q&A, Sam Altman's answers revealed more than his prepared remarks. When asked about AI addiction, whether tools like Sora might follow the path of Facebook and TikTok, Sam was surprisingly candid. We're definitely worried about this. We have seen people develop relationships with chatbots that we didn't expect, and there can clearly be addictive behavior there. He added, if we ship Sora and it becomes super addictive and not about creation, we'll cancel the product. That's a bold statement from a CEO, but notice what he's acknowledging. AI products have emergent properties. They create behaviors and relationships that designers don't anticipate. When asked about GPT-40 sticking around, Sam said they have no plans to sunset it, but also won't promise to keep it until the heat death of the universe. He compared AI models to people you have relationships with. They evolve and get smarter and change a little bit over time. Again, that framing AI as relational entities, not just tools. And when asked point blank, when will AGI happen? Jakob gave the most honest answer I've heard from any frontier lab. In some number of years, we'll look back and say this was the transition period when AGI happened. Not a singular moment, a transition period, which means we're already in it. Sam followed up by saying the term AGI has become overloaded and meaningless. That's why they're focusing on concrete milestones. Automated AI research intern by September 2026. 
full automated AI researcher by March 2028. And when someone asked about GPT-6, Sam's response, six months from now, probably sooner, we expect to have huge steps forward in model capability, not years, months. So let's bring this home. What does OpenAI's timeline actually mean for your business, your career, your future? First, understand that the automation cliff is real and it's coming faster than anyone predicted. OpenAI believes administrative and office work reduction will accelerate dramatically throughout 2025. Second, the window for first mover advantage is closing. By the time everyone realizes what's happening, the opportunities will be claimed. This isn't like cloud computing where you had years to adapt. This is months. Third, the companies and individuals who survive won't be the ones with the best current skills. They'll be the ones who learned to orchestrate AI systems, who understood how to manage different levels of AI autonomy. Fourth, we're entering a world where Fortune 500 companies deploy hybrid workforces, human managers overseeing both human and AI workers. Any task you do at a computer can and will be automated. The question is, what's your role in that new structure? And finally, and this is the part that should terrify and excite you in equal measure, we're approaching the intelligence explosion the point where AI capability accelerates beyond human comprehension, where the AI you're using today is literally the worst it will ever be. Every model from this point forward will be dramatically more capable than what you're using now. OpenAI just gave us the roadmap. September 2026 for AI research interns, March 2028 for fully automated AI research. And from there, the acceleration becomes exponential. The future belongs to the first movers, the ones who see what's coming and position themselves ahead of the curve. This isn't science fiction speculation. This is the exact timeline from the people building AGI. This is happening now. I'd love for you to subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these changes. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Julia reads every single one. And if you're serious about staying ahead in this AI revolution, check out First Movers AI Labs, where we help businesses implement these systems before it's too late. Don't be left behind. Let's embrace this age of agents and abundance together. See you down the next rabbit hole. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.